So we're back in Odelia's room today. We're gonna to be working on incorporating her floating vanity as well as some one-of-a-kind artwork with a little bit of a Star Wars theme. We couldn't find any frames that we liked, so what I'm gonna do is I just got this MDF fiber board that I'm going to be cutting down to the size we need. And then once I get that done, I'm gonna glue our picture to that with some spray adhesive and frame it out with salvage wood. So Odelia loves Star Wars and we are going to incorporate that into her room. I found some kind of images that I combined in Photoshop and just printed off black and white. I was being careful to make sure that they're free images. Most places that sell images or have them free will have, either you'll have to sign up with an email or they'll tell you, hey, this is free for commercial use, just go ahead and download and use it, or free for private use. And like some of them were coloring page images and things that I just, I just printed off and combined, but just be careful of that. If you're pulling images off the website, you wanna give the uh, artist their proper credit. Chewbacca is her favorite. So this is what we're going to be framing and I'm going to go ahead and glue these on with some spray adhesive. I'm going to be wearing my respirator. You won't see it because I'm going to be showing you how I'm spraying it. But make sure you're wearing a respirator when you use this stuff. It's aerosol and it's glue so you know be careful. So what I've got here is just Loctite spray adhesive. There's all kinds out there. I've used several. This Loctite's been okay. It's not my favorite. If you guys have a brand out there that you really love. I'd love to see what you guys are using and see if it works good for me. All right, so the glue is dry. What I'm gonna be doing is just taking a razor edge and trimming this up. I made the board a little bit smaller than the paper because I've got kind of this border right here where my printer just, it wouldn't size to fit for whatever reason it was fighting me today. So I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna cut them to size and make the frames. So I'm cutting these on a cutting board inside because if I set them on my dirty shop table, it would probably get my crisp white paper really dirty and messed up. So to avoid that, I'm just in here on a big cutting board. I've got some old bead board that I just trimmed the edges off from and I'm gonna be using this to make the frame on the pictures. Since these are pretty old and they've got layers and layers of crusty paint on there, I'm not sure what's on there. Gonna rock the respirator, sand them up with the orbital to get as much of that loose paint off of there as I can, and then we'll go ahead and paint them apothecary. While this is a cool chippy finish, it's a little bit too rustic for Odelia, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put on a coat of apothecary. I'm not gonna hit everything because I'm gonna be sanding it to paint off anyways and I'm not gonna paint one end of it because it's going to be against the wall. This is the stool we're gonna use in Odelia's room for her vanity. It's currently about 25 inches tall to the seat. I want it to be about 18 inches tall so that it fits about standard table height. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down and then Jamie will paint it. One way to do this would be to use a circular saw, just measure it out. But I've just got my fence set at six and a half inches and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down right here. So a little safety tip, this hand here is just to guide the stool so it stays straight. I'm putting all of my pressure here because if I push with both hands, what's going to happen is it's going to bind up on that blade and want to kick back on you. So I went ahead and sanded this stool because whoever finished it last used that, uh, it's like a poly with a stain built in and it was drippy and gunky. Your paint finish is only going to be as good as what you put it on, meaning if it's bumpy and drippy underneath, then your paint finish on top is going to look the same. So I took like five minutes tops, sanded the top, the edges, and the legs where it was drippy, and now we're ready for paint. These are the Marcy Corbels. Typically they have a back on here and a routered lip around the edge, but for these purposes, I'm putting them underneath the vanity. They're going to hold the top of the vanity down. So I'm just gonna be screwing a pilot hole here and here on these, and that's how I'm gonna attach them to the wall. 
This is the corner where the vanity is going to be going, right under the shelf, which is right there. And the bottom of the vanity, I want it to be at 29 inches. It's two inches thick on the board I was using. So that'll put my total height right at 31. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to countersink in here on the insides and go up at an angle into the vanity top here. And then once that's done, that'll be nice and secure, won't move around and be real stable for her. The boards Jamie painted in Apothecary are all distressed and sanded up. And now I'm going to install them on the pictures for the frame. It's going to be more of like a shadow box style frame. I've got some one inch nails in my pneumatic nail gun and then I've got a scrap piece of wood here that I'm just going to set down. I want it to raise it up just a little bit and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line this up here with the bottom and then nail that in place. Got it measured out on the wall where I want to put these frames. And that board on the back gave me a nice little recess when I was putting these frames on, the board that I had sitting right here. That way I can just hang these right on that. I put a second coat of DIY apothecary on the stool and now I'm ready to distress it. I'm using my orbital sander, 220 sanding disc, and I've got my mask. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and seal this with a DIY clear wax and our paint pixie brush. I'm gonna wind up doing about three coats on the top by the time I'm all said and done to give it some durability. She's gonna be doing makeup and all kinds of stuff, so I just wanna make sure that it's really wipeable and durable. If you want a full video on waxing, I'll have Zeb drop the link. We have a video from start to finish, how to wax your furniture. We've painted this frame in Apothecary. I'm just gonna use a damp rag to wet distress. I don't wanna use the orbital because I don't wanna flatten any of the detail. It's much better to just take a damp rag and distress back. When I distress back, we're gonna see some of that mint color underneath and that's okay. And it will also distress back to the brown gold that's underneath because I had already distressed the mint underneath. So I'm just pulling that back out. Normally I'd spray this, but I'm waxing it so that way all my furniture and decor has the same sheen. Also, it's really quick and easy to just take your wax brush and wax a mirror like this. That's where the wax brush comes in handy. If you just use a rag, it would be a nightmare to get down in all these nooks and crannies. But this brush does a good job at getting in everywhere and getting a nice even coat. So do you want to tell them or should I? <laughs> do you ever do a project and you get all the way done and you're like, wow, that doesn't go together at all because that's where we're at right now. <laughs> that's what happened to this little vanity area. This piece of wood is not deep enough to really do anything. The stool is too short and too plain. The wood is bowed and it's making my eyes like cross-eyed. The corbel situation, I didn't realize that I was gonna have to put a corbel this way. And so when you look at it straight on, it's just like completely wonky. So we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board and reconfigure it because she needs to have somewhere she can put her makeup on. We've got five kids and sometimes the bathrooms are full so she needs somewhere where she can keep all of her things that her little siblings can't get into. So, do you have suggestions? We really love some ideas. We need help. <laughs> SOS. The trouble is is that the room is really small and we're trying to pack a ton in here. It seems to be the case in all of the rooms in this house. The good news is the artwork turned out exactly how I imagined it and it wound up being a really inexpensive way to put some, are you saying that I've spent a lot of money on this room? An inexpensive way to put some Star Wars in the room. <laughs> 
Yeah, and it also like lends to the decor and it's not too crazy. We tried to buy frames off the shelf. <laughs> they, they were plastic. They were made out of plastic. They were so bad. Any of them that were like solid wood that I would have wanted to paint were way more than I was willing to spend. And we didn't have time to run to Ikea, which theirs aren't solid wood anyways, but we could have painted those. They're made a little better. Yeah, they're made a little better than the cheap ones we found. So... You know, sometimes if you can't figure out what you want, you just DIY it. So the products we used today were Apothecary, Real Stain Number no. 2, Clear Wax, and we used First Crush Milk Paint on the corbels that are now leaving. Yeah, those ones are definitely too small. I had them already made, and Jamie's like, hey, I just painted these. We can just use them. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess we need three because now I've got to support the other end because they're really short corbels. They're more for like bookends. And shelves. <laughs> Anyways, make sure you hit that notifications button so that way you can see how we figure out this hot mess. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.